Hey guys, today we'll be making papuit sakya, which is a Greek dish. It's stuffed eggplants. Now, why papuit sakya? That actually translates to little slippers, so you'll see what I mean later. Let's get started. I'm just going to chop up some onion right now. Now, I love Greek dishes because they're full of flavor. They use lots of olive oil, lots of tomatoes as well, so I'm going to be replicating that today. To that, I'll be adding some chopped garlic as well. Now, if you are a huge fan of moussaka, which is another famous Greek dish, you would love this as well. It has the same base of eggplants, minced beef and tomatoes. We'll roughly chop up some garlic. And next, we'll be working with some raw tomatoes. I'll be using passata later for the mix, but I also like to use some raw tomatoes. I'm using plump tomatoes, which I got at the market. These are lovely, but if you don't have these, you can just use normal tomatoes as well. Just want to roughly dice them up. And I love this dish because really you can put whatever you want in it. Today I'll be putting some mushrooms which I've gotten at the market as well. Now today I'll be using mushrooms but honestly I love this dish because it's really really flexible, it's versatile. Um, I can also use lamb mince, uh, chicken mince, lentils, if you want to make it vegetarian anything works. And the chopping doesn't have to be perfect because all of this will cook down later on. And there we go. Set that aside. And now time for the star of the show. I'll be using two plum aubergines. So we'll get four halves from this, two pairs of shoes. I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm gonna scoop out the flesh. So we wanna hollow out these eggplants, but we're not gonna waste the flesh. We're actually gonna cook it up later. Just leave about a centimeter border. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look nice and hollow so that you can stuff it beautifully later. Okay, there you go, your four hollowed out eggplants. And now we're gonna pre-cook them in the oven. So I'm just going to rub some olive oil all over. Again, you're just getting your hands dirty for this recipe. So you just rub your hands all over it to coat it nicely with olive oil. Now that they're nicely coated, we can pop them into a preheated oven at 200 degrees to cook them for a bit. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. There we go. And in the meantime, we'll be chopping up the aubergine flesh that we just scooped out. That will be the stuffing, the body of it all. Now it's really normal if your aubergine flesh starts to turn brown because oxidization will happen. It's really normal. It's not going bad. So you want the size of the aubergine flesh, the mushroom and the tomatoes to be roughly of the same size. So if you look at recipes online, it will always tell you to soak your aubergines in salt water to drain out the bitterness. But honestly, I've done it with and without and there isn't much of a difference. So you can totally skip that step and save time. All right, put that in a bowl and we can fry this all up. So I'm right now here by the stove top with all my ingredients, which I've chopped up earlier on. Just gonna heat up the pot with some oil. So in goes the onion and the garlic. I'm gonna fry that up till it's nicely aromatic. Now the onions and garlic are slightly softened. I'm gonna be throwing in the beef mince, or if you're using lamb mince, chicken mince, you can put it in right now. If you're using lentils, you can put that in later on with the vegetables. I'm gonna break it up so it doesn't form clumps. When cooking, it's very important to season at every step. So I'm just gonna add in some salt and pepper right now. Just a little dash would do. If you have dried herbs lying around at home, this would be a good time to use it. You can use thyme, oregano. I've got some rosemary here that I would just throw in right now. When the beef is almost cooked, you can throw in the eggplant. I'm gonna cook till the eggplants are softened. Once again, season with a little dash of salt and pepper. Now that the aubergines are softened up, I'm gonna add in the chopped tomatoes and the mushrooms as well. It looks really bulky right now, but all this will cook down beautifully. All right, and to that we'll add one cup of passata, which is tomato puree. There we go. Stir that up to coat. And I'll be adding a dash of cinnamon. Again, totally optional, but I really like this flavor in my paputsakia. If you've got nutmeg as well, that would work beautifully. And we'll turn the heat down to a nice low simmer. Okay, I'm just gonna let that simmer for about five minutes. 
Meanwhile, let's check on our eggplant shells. Let's have a look. All right. Get them out of the oven. And we'll let them cool here just for a while. All right, just as a final step, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. The tomato sauce is kind of acidic, a little bit sour, so I'm just gonna add a dash of sugar. Using brown sugar, but you can use white sugar as well. It's completely fine. We're using just a tiny, tiny bit. Stir that up. And this is the consistency you want it at, not too watery, slightly thick, good enough to stuff the eggplants. So now let's head on over. Righty right. Now it's time to stuff these babies. You want to fill them up with the meat filling nicely to the brim. It's okay if the eggplants kind of widen up, this spills over slightly, we go for rustic. Say if you're making this for guests and they've not yet arrived, you can chill this in the fridge and when they come, just probably take it out about 10 minutes before you want to put them in the oven. Top it off with some cheese and they're ready to go. So it's a really good make-ahead dish. Like I said, if you put rice or quinoa inside, this really just one eggplant is a full dish already. You get your protein, your carbs, your vegetables, all in one. And look, I've still got leftovers, so you can either freeze that up, you can use that for pasta or another dish. All right, let's pop this into the oven, but not before I top it with some cheese. Well, typical Greece style, you'll add feta cheese, but I've not got that today, so I'm gonna use mozzarella, but anything goes, really. For some extra crunch, you can also add breadcrumbs if you like, if you've got that lying around. Greek paputsakia uses bechamel sauce, but I'm skipping that step completely because I want a lighter version and also just a quicker version. If you want to skip the cheese, you can also use creme fraiche, for example. And because I like spice and everything I eat, I'm going to put some chili flakes on top. Again, totally optional. There we go. Super! Now they're ready to pop into the oven for another 15 minutes. The papotsakias are ready to emerge from the oven. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that beautiful color. Oh, heavenly. So if you ever do a dish like this and you realize that there's not enough color on your cheese, on your bake, what you do is just put it on grill for about a minute and a half, no longer because it's gonna burn and you'll get this nice golden brown. So I'm just gonna put some black pepper on top of it and then some parsley over as well for some color. All right, dishing it out right now. They look so beautiful. Nice and plump. Hoi! There you go, the lovely paputsakia. My stuffed eggplants. Try this at home and tag me at the Charlotte May. This right here is a winner. Try this recipe at home, snap a picture and tag me at the Charlotte May on Instagram. Leave a comment down below to tell me what you'd like to see next and don't forget to click subscribe. Three, two, one. Now that's actually a Greek dish that trans...